Good morning, Gateway Church. This is Pastor Ben, and I am recording in Minneapolis, Minnesota at North Central University. Uh, after church yesterday, Reagan and I decided to make a quick trip to unload her room that's upstairs in this building and uh, get her completely moved out. And that's just one of the minor details of our lives that have changed. And I know things are changing by the minute uh, with this uh, new order by our governor, uh, two to three week stay at home. And so uh, it looks like we're in this for the long haul, uh, at least uh, for the short term. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, connect with you in regards to our soap reading today. And I just love God's word, and I hope you do as well. And just, I, you got to know how important it is to be connecting with God on a regular basis, especially when we're not connecting with each other um, as much. But uh, this morning, we were reading Luke, six, Luke 15 and Luke 16. And at the very beginning of Luke 15, there's a, a verse, I think it's the second or third one in, that says, And Jesus received sinners and ate with them. And the Pharisees were upset with this. And I just, and then it goes on, it says, uh, it tells a story of the lost sheep, then the lost coin, and then the lost, um, the lost uh, boy, uh, the prodigal son. And uh, man, what a story. And uh, what, a, what a set of stories to follow yesterday's message. And I know many of you were tuned in yesterday and tracking with us. Uh, but to me, uh, the encouragement was really that we need to be with sinners and to make a difference and to reach one more. It's part of our mission statement that uh, we're connecting with God, with each other, and with the world. And the reason behind all that is so we can reach one more. And I just want to challenge you in this time, uh, that you're at home, um, you're at uh, you know at a loss of work p perhaps, or you are in a spot where uh, things are difficult. Uh, the way to get out of a rut or to not feel so bad is to serve and to be a blessing. And just think of those in your neighborhood or uh, in your sphere uh, circles, the, uh, your neighbors, your uh, co-workers that are off. Uh, there are people in our lives that need Jesus, need an example. And if we can serve them in some way, um, serve them right where you are, um, it will make a difference. And uh, today's scripture reading really challenges us to go after the one, uh, the lost sheep. You know, we'll leave the 99 to reach the one, the lost coin. We're going to search until we can't find until, until we find it. And the lost boy. Uh, just I, I love the story there where Jesus is the example, is waiting for sinners to turn and to find him. And uh, there's nothing greater than seeing someone come to know Jesus. And I'm believing in this season that, uh, that we are going to see a harvest. And I really want to challenge you that if you are uh, uh, listening to this and you don't know Jesus, uh, maybe you're just tuning in. Uh, maybe you've been tracking with us. Maybe you're one of our neighbors or, uh, you know, extension. You know someone that goes to the Gateway Church and you've tuned in and you don't know Jesus. Today is your day. Turn to him. Put your faith in him. Put your trust in him and trust him uh, with your life. And it's the best decision you'll ever make. Let me pray for you, Gateway Church. Uh, we love you. We miss you oh so greatly. And uh, we can't wait to worship together. We don't know how long that'll be, but it will be here sooner than later, Lord willing. And uh, that'll be good. Let me pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for providing in this time. Lord, thank you for uh, your connection uh, that we can sense your presence even in a difficult time. And Lord, I pray right now for every single person that's uh, hung on through this video, uh, Lord, that they would know you, they would trust you. And Lord, for those of us that do know you, Lord, that we would be reaching one more, that we would be passionate about uh, making your name famous. And God, help us to serve, help us to be a blessing. We give you the praise and all the glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.